What's up, everybody? My name's Steve. Um, thank you for tuning in. We're just starting this new channel. Today's gonna be my first video as I got a surprise in the mail today. And here it is. That is a jack plate. Uh, it's made by a company, on the fly jack plates. Uh, it's a smaller company. I've been looking at them on the in, uh, Instagram. Um, been getting a feel for them. I've been I've been liking them, so I thought about giving them a shot. And it's gonna be going on that bad boy back there. That is a 2018 Skimmer Skiff. It's a 14.6. So it's a smaller boat, but it's super super stable. Uh, it gets me where I need to go. If, and we just took it out this past weekend. Me and my buddy Joel, I'm actually headed to his house right now to help me install that uh, jack plate. So if y'all tune in, I'll see if I can post some pictures of our last trip, which is this last uh, Saturday we went out when we launched out of Goose Island. It's in Rockport, Texas, and I can't wait till y'all can come along. And see. So we just got here, first thing we're going to start taking off all these bolts, get ready, prep it for that transplant. All right, so I don't know if y'all can see this, but we got the first two drilled here. Kind of marked where the motor was before. That we kind of reference, and that's where they lined up. So those are on there. The only problem that we're having right now is not really a big issue, but this bar here across, it's preventing us from drilling these here, and I don't want to damage this. So we're just gonna find an Allen wrench, take those off, and that one, and it should come right out. After that, we'll just bolt those two holes, and we should have it all set up. And then I think after that, we're gonna head and uh, drill holes in here, that way the motor's secure. So we'll get back to you. What's up everybody? So I had to cut that video short. Um, I had to order some other parts that I didn't notice they didn't come with it. So Note to self don't do what I did uh, Order all their hardware on there read everything thoroughly on their website. It seems like a really good product um, Just like I said, just make sure you read everything. You know what you're gonna need so I had a put a piece of wood on the transom and um just to get it home, I was at my friend Joel's house, as you can see in that last video. So, I don't want that look. I kind of want to look a little nicer than that. I mean, it works. It'll get the job done. Um, I just wanted the, you know, the correct part. So, if you need to use a piece of wood, I mean, that will work. So, I went ahead and ordered. I just got the shipment in today. Uh, and I'll show you what it came with. So I ordered uh, the hardware. I thought I could get it local, but I couldn't find uh, a good bolt at Home Depot. So I got something just to get it home. I'm gonna go ahead and replace it with this. I'll show you here in a minute. So the hardware, it came with all four bolts and washers and nuts. And then it came with the spacers. There's a thicker one and a little smaller one. You can put them together. And it's gonna replace this piece of wood. So I'll let you see it. All right, everyone. Uh, product's finished. Sorry, I didn't, I didn't. I didn't have anybody to hold the camera for me at the time. So if you come this way, I'll show you what it looks like. Um, I was just able to put those, replace those. I'm sorry, with the stainless steel hardware that uh, came with um, on the fly. Uh, this is the jack plate itself. It's made out of like really good aluminum. If you could just feel it, it's a good quality. 
Uh, this is the um, tiller, or I'm sorry, not the tiller, but how it goes up and down. Uh, I just put grease in it, so it feels a lot better. These are those spacers I was telling y'all about. Uh, it feels real secure on there, it's not moving at all. Um, I am gonna, however, drill this out and put the bolt there just for extra securement. Um, and this is mounted on a 20 horsepower Suzuki. Mm, trying to figure out what else. They, um, whenever you get the kit, come on, let's say. It come, you have to adjust these three holes here. I had mine at the top. So when I was going to tilt the motor, it was hitting the, the bracket there. But now that I lifted it all the way down to the last hole, and this is on a Suzuki, you probably have to do some trial and error on your own. But now it goes back down and nothing's hitting. So all I gotta do left is just connect the fuel lines and drill that bolt and we're done. So this is also mounted on a um, um, skimmer skiff. It's a 14.6. So I appreciate it if you give this a video a like, uh, share it. Uh, if it helped you in any way, let me know in the comment section. I'm just getting this YouTube video off the ground. So hopefully I can get it going. I'm sorry I couldn't give you more explanation. Um, I was working by myself. So we'll see you in the next one.